Now, this chess endgame position is something which I think many of us would have come across so far. And we don't know actually how to proceed with this. If you stay with me till the end, I'll definitely tell you how to draw this at least, if not win, because equal pawns is generally a draw if both the sides play perfectly fine. My agenda of this video is make sure that you don't never lose in such situations. And if you get an opportunity, if the open blunders at all, you get a chance to make this a victory as well. Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and let me take you through this end game position. Now it is black to move. So uh, what happens here is you have to first of all take your king towards the center. Why so? You don't want opponent king to come up further as much as possible. And you walk towards the opponent king, walk towards the opponent's territory. Going from the other side is also fine, but then you can be chased down uh, with pawn attacks as well. So if you go to e5 right now, that is a good square because opponent cannot move your king straight away. So here, the best move would be to go to e5 with the king. And then when opponent plays e3 here, now again, it is very much possible that the next move is going to be f4. Expecting the next move is very important. And you have to look out for the squares what your king has. If you allow f4 to come, your king either has to go back to one of these squares and which is bad. So how do you prevent f4 uh, from now? Uh, so what you can do is play g5. So if now opponent makes a move, you can simply take and then you are okay. Your main agenda should be not letting the king come towards your side of the court from either side. So you have to control the fourth rank basically, not let the opponent king come ahead. And you have to make sure that these pawns are neutralized somehow. Here in the game, open played g3. And now I responded with h6, making sure just that the pawn has an extra defender. Of course, the next move will be f4 because after I take, opponent can take back and my king has to go back. Now it's again important, where do you want to take the king backwards? If I go back onto f6, I allow, allow one more pawn push and then the king also comes down to the fourth rank. Very important, not let the opponent come closer to you. So I go to d6. How is it different? If opponent comes here, that's all the opponent can do. Opponent cannot push forward. Plus I have a move like f5 coming as well, which will be hitting the central pawn and we can trade off the pawns. And once these pawns are traded off, so for example, in this position, let me go to the analysis board as well to make you help uh, understand this position a bit better. So if the opponent now plays king over here, I can simply play f6 as well. And now the opponent is not moving anywhere ahead, but just roaming in this file only. We can just repeat and draw is one option. The opponent can also push the other pawn, but again, it's a blockage. And now whosoever gets a chance eventually, say opponent plays this, I go back. And now opponent, in some point of time, if opponent is going for a victory, the opponent will have to move the pawns. There's no other option. If the king mo keeps moving here and there, you just repeat and it would be a draw. So uh, the thing is, uh, doesn't matter. Even if king come cl close this time because you are closer to the pawns. So now you can go for pawn exchange. If the opponent crosses, that's a blunder because now you get to go up king d5 and then you walk towards the pawn and grab it and then it's a pass pawn and you can convert it into a victory. As you see, evaluation changed to 1.3. So it is a complete fine position from there on. So here I have first played h5, making sure the opponent runs out of moves. Opponent goes with king to d4 and now I play uh, f6 in the game. Opponent goes back. And now I move my king towards the opponent's pawn and kings, uh, pawn and king. Now uh, I am about to go on to c4 and I'll try to push the opponent backwards. So opponent comes back to d3. Uh, again, I can go back, but going back is not an option. I thought, let me go for a pawn push, e5. It's completely fine because if the opponent does take, I can take back. Again, it's a draw situation. I'm not letting the king come closer. We can just repeat these moves and we'll be fine. There's nothing happening. But what happens in the game is open plays f5. Now that's a blunder. Why so? Because my pawns are stable. Uh, the king cannot uh, come from the other side of the board. And my king is already here. 
and allows me to go to B4. That's the only way I can proceed. You always have to proceed towards the open stride. And now open king has only got few options, either go back or keep defending the pawn. Whichever the open does doesn't make any difference now because I am in the advantage. I have come closer to the pawns and it's a king move only remaining. Both the kings can only move. No other piece can move in the game. So king starts to move and I continue chasing the king and king has to go back. No other option. Leave the pawn eventually from defenses because after king d3, there's no legal move uh, to defend the pawn on e4. King goes side steps. You grab the pawn. King side. And now king does whatever. You have got the extra pawns. Just simply make sure that you are able to grab the other pawn as well if required. It's a three pawn against zero now. So just take control and then promote the pawns easily. Chasing away the king first. Making sure my pawn is on e4 is also safe. And then I proceed with f pawn. Making sure that, okay, you can take the pawn, but I get the queen on the board. I give a check. I sidestep. And now I can checkmate as well. But then, or with the king or the queen, anything is fine. Or I can pr promote to another queen and definitely win from there. So it was a simple checkmate thereafter. All you have to be focused about is how to gain the opposition. How to make sure the opponent king cannot come ahead. How do you block the king? How do you approach towards the king? How do you make sure that your pawns are solid and they cannot be captured with the open spawn? And then it's easy. Uh, if the opponent does that mistake, like my opponent did, you can definitely convert into a victory. Otherwise, it's a sure shot draw for, sh for like any given day. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was instructive enough for you to make sure that whenever you have got equal pawns in the end game, you don't lose it from there. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel if it was really helpful to you. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.